Hello, beautiful souls. It may be that someone romantically is actually going to be bringing you some kind of communication or information that will clarify something for you, clear something up in some type of way. I'm getting that very strongly here. What else is going on here romantically for Gemini? Yeah, Knight of Wands energy, particularly if you are a feminine energy listening. Now, of course, these labels masculine and feminine could apply to someone who is traditionally male or female. These are just ways of describing energy. But it feels like there is this Knight of Wands coming towards you, a very fast-moving, potentially masculine energy. It's interesting because at the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers in the reverse position. So, there may have been a lack of accountability from this particular person in the past that led to some kind of disconnection or detachment, and they could be coming in very quickly to clear up some of the confusion that you've been experiencing. Now, for others of you, if this doesn't resonate as being someone from the past, this actually could be someone entirely new who enters your life very quickly and actually, it's almost like they bring an end to this time of feeling lonely or feeling confused or isolated in love. If that makes sense, like there's just some kind of light at the end of the tunnel sort of experience coming up here. And what this all is requiring of you is surrender with the Five of Swords. I see that there might be something that you've been holding onto really tight or worried about or trying to control, and that energy of worry or control might actually be energetically blocking this situation from being able to fully transform in a positive way, from bringing in this very fast-moving new energy that could move this situation forward very quickly. Now, of course, I will still be doing collective readings as well, and even though in these sign-specific readings the messages will be directed at a particular sign, you might still find that those messages do resonate with you, even if you do not have that sign in your birth chart. So I'm really just using these astrological transits as a kind of jumping-off point for some different, possibly more specific messages. Do let me know in the comments if you like this style of video. Let's go ahead and get into it by starting with the sign of Gemini. This particular reading video is inspired by the sign of Gemini, meaning that I am using this particular sign, the sign of the twins as they say, to channel some specific messages in this reading. Of course, if this is not your sign, you might find that some of the messages still resonate with you, but let's go ahead and take a look to find out what's going on in Gemini's energy through the tarot today. So what can I channel for the Gemini's listening to this reading? Okay, we have in the near future. I heard the word waiting. For some reason I also saw someone's hair in a braid. Something about braided hair or braiding hair. I know that's a very specific detail. You've become very skilled at manifesting your reality efficiently. From divine muscular. Type yes, if you believe. 